Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip. I have a match for you on Swiftwater, but it's no ordinary match. It is the Brazilian First National Championship. So let's meet the teams. We have All Class versus Potato Game Sense. Two South American, well, two Brazilian teams going at it. Uh, AC is in blue. They're on offense first. Well, let's meet the teams. We have B as Spy. Angra is Heavy. Oswell is Sniper Zoo. Is Engineer Dangers. Is Demo Man. Tazi is Scout. Capone is Medic. Fuki is Soldier. And someone is Pyro. Over on Potato Game Sense, we have Chip as Scout. Uh, spy Pepito is Pyro Walker is Sniper Sl Mad Slash Align is Heavy Came is Engineer Honorato is Soldier Darren Drunk is uh, Scout Duality is Demo Man and Boomer is a Medic so let's get to the action I've been meaning to cast this match for a while, so I apologize about the delay, but uh, hopefully it reaches you while you're in the full spirit of World Cup fever. And uh, Brazil, World Cup fever, there you go. Uh, too bad about uh, Brazil teams and uh, USA, you just root for them, but uh, good luck to, I don't know, just uh, chatting here about soccer or football. Uh, as we're uh, waiting for the setup here on Switchwater, we do see that uh, our little NG came is going to go ahead and set up on... Uh, I'm not sure if this has a name. Is it Deck? I feel like its name is Deck. Um, which is, it's, it's, mm, it's an okay position if he can handle it. Now, Kame is uh, an engineer. He did play for Commander Esports formerly, and they did win, I believe, the All-Star and not the All-Star, the um, South American Championship in UGC in Season 12. I think I casted that. Um, but, so he so do, he knows this map. This is, of course, UGC Swiftwater, created for UGC, created for Highlander, um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So we'll just check out on back. He needs to be wrangling it. There it goes. Already Oswell is down, so Sniper v Sniper um, buys a little advantage for Red Team, but, you know, not doing too much. It's really when the def defensive sniper goes down that the medic on blue can poke a little bit more and get a little bit more aggressive and heavy too. Um, but red sniper still up. I did see uh, Darren drunk drop down in the uh, LA River as uh, I've heard it called. Which is sometimes can be a good technique to um, have that scout down there just to clean up on kills when uh, injured players get down there. But uh, I think he's back up. We do have the soldiers exchanging blows as they usually do. Fuki finishes off on Arado, so that means that this uh, roof is going to be unprotected. And now it's up to NG came to uh, to really defend uh, this roof, which he is doing expertly. And he has his sniper and spy with him. The spy is an interesting choice right there. But looks like all is okay for this defense so far. Let's get uh, some snipes on Cam potentially. Walker not able to get the heavy right there, but Angra's overheal is going to be hard to get him at all oh does some damage to him <laughs> two damage two night he's he's down to 298 that heavy that's uh overhealed heavy is op am i right i'm right i'll watch b as he tries to get in here by his team a little bit of advantage because they have pushed the cart relatively uh far but they have yet to pop their uber they have yet to get that sentry gun so it's a little bit of a longer time here for this blue team uh, b did get a poke at boomer boomer down to 116 health um, but not going go from spy to spy as Chip was trying to get something right there because Blue Medic is indeed out. Um, but some good spy checking ended that spy threat. So this Blue Uber should be popped soon. We'll see if uh, AC, how they decide to play it. They're going to go in from house and a nice pop right there. Capone um, going down to 40 health but does manage to get it. We'll see if they can get this Uber. No demo. I mean the sentry gun. There's no demo with this Uber and that is not going to be good. They did however capture the point. So that's cool, and Capone does get away a lot. Well, for how long, though? Oh my goodness, is the heavy out of ammo, or is he just trying to prove something with his fists? Regardless, Capone stayed alive, so it's all, all is well, I guess. So interesting the little exchange right there. Not having that demo man did um, put that Uber at risk. Fortunately, they were able to get the cap because the scout was on that cart riding the whole time, doing scout-like things, as uh, one does in offensive uh, payload. And uh, they were able to obviously get that point, and that will force Red Team to fall back here. Check out the Oz... Owz oh, I was saying it wrong. I was saying like Oswell, but it's Owzel, which is much more difficult to say. I should have done my vocal warm-ups before casting this. Unique New York. 
Owzel. Okay, we're good. Capone, meanwhile, since he was healing the entire time, does have a bit of an uber advantage. It's about uh, 20%. We'll see if they decide to use it. Uh, they are in a position to do so, eh, but they're slowly wasting away. Coming from underneath would be good. They have their Heavy and Pyro and Demo Man here. Just need to get that pop before Boomer gets his uber, but Boomer's going to go ahead and get his uber. He is being challenged right there, and B does get two picks, but uh, Medic was not one of them, so that uber is still alive. And uh, AC not uh, being as aggressive as I think they could have been. I'm not sure what they're doing. Maybe waiting for the sap to go down. But B was got a couple of kills. Um, but I don't think he got the sap in a position, I guess, that um, AC wanted to push off of. So, Center Gun's still up. Uber's still both ready for both ready for both sides. Let's see how many times I can say both. But uh, this is going to be a difficult push for Blue. And it will come immediately. We do have the uber popped on the demo man putting down some damage on the sentry gun, but of course it's being wrangled, taking a lot of damage. And meanwhile, we do have uh, blue. I'm sorry, Red Spy getting some of that uber and uh, Pepito tracking down the medic and getting that kill to finish Al Capone. So nice job right there to finish off that kill. Boomer, meanwhile, did go down as well, so both medics are going to have to reset their uber and will be even. But uh, that just means we'll be waiting a little bit longer right here. AC with the time of two minutes, and that's already kind of a significant time right there. Uh, Walker, we're already with a 4K. Uh, make that 5K. Uh, just patrolling uh, windows right there. Does get caught out by the scouts who's gonna have to fall back and get some health. Or just, oh, I was gonna say, or just headshot the scout in midair or whatever. No, not able to get that shot. But I was told that uh, he was uh, Walker was the best sniper in Brazil in 2012. I don't know how that's substantiated, but I was told that, so therefore I will repeat it. And uh, if it's hearsay or rumor or whatever, I'm sorry, but that's what I was told, so I'm going to repeat it. Uh, so far it does look like he's doing pretty good. Walker finishing off uh, someone right there with a booty shoot. And uh, Capone taking some damage as well. See if he can finish him off. I don't know how that didn't kill... Blue demo man dangerous, but it didn't, so whatever. Uh, Walker is gonna fall back there. So we'll get off his cam and see if uh, maybe Chip can do something right here. Uh, oh, Hawker did take down Angra, and the blue med Capone took uh, about half damage right there from Chip, uh, but not uh, Chip was not able to get the kill. Capone does have this 100% Uber as they're pushing on to second right there. Oh, but Capone drops. Uh, Honorado coming in and just sending a ton of spam down there with the 3k and only a few rockets. So really nice uh, ambush from a red soldier. Uh, it's going to be his man a huge advantage. I don't think they're going to want to push off of this or anything. They're just going to play defensively right here, which is a good idea. They have 5 minutes and 30, about 30 seconds on the clock, which is already really nice defensive time uh, for this third point. So they're just going to play as pretty standard, wait for AC to make the moves. Which is a good idea. So Honorado with some major plays right there. Now he's spy hunting and he did find one. Will he fall for the trick stab? And no, he won't. He was not born yesterday. In fact, he was born quite a while ago. He is an old, old man, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. He's wanting some heals right here before he uh, maybe goes for another ambush, but instead he found the opposing soldier with a nice jump right there. He's gonna have a little uh, battle and does take him down. Meanwhile, Red Uber was popped. It looks like a force pop right there. Uh, maybe a uh, nervous pop. Looks like Boomer did take a little bit of damage. Oh, and then Boomer goes down to stickies where the heck is danger uh doesn't matter he did get the med pick with that uh, ac is going to pop need to take down this pyro but pepito is everywhere finally she goes down and angra able to clean up the dispenser pet slash and looks like this will be a cap except there's nobody on the cart uh that's usually pretty important here on payload and they will get to the cart ac gonna capture it with a time of seven minutes and 28 seconds so it took him two minutes to get that and that's pretty long we're gonna get on the chip cam because he is in here behind the lines uh oh he sapped the mini so they know he's around so we'll see if he can't do anything. Yeah, they, they know he's there. Meanwhile, Blue's trying to push up right here. Someone trying to get in there and do a little beef like action, a little flare gun action. Not going to happen. Danger is up there as well, but this defense is uh, respawning very quickly, and it looks like 
uh, potato game sense will be able to um, set something up here. Meanwhile, Capone with about 70% Uber just needs to stay alive. Uh, sorry about those big red blotches, but uh, that's what you get for updates. And the cart slowly being pushed up that hill. Of course, the hardest part still yet to come, and it's that open field where you just basically have to wipe the other team in order to get it. Uh, sometimes a wipe, not completely necessary, but uh, most of the time it is. Oh, Oswell gets the headshot on Walker, but pays for his uh, pays with his life on Arado taking him down. He had a close shot on the med right there. It looks like we do have a pause. Right back. All right, we are back just in time for that uber pop, and it's a good one. Going to take down that sentry gun immediately, and we'll see if uh, Blue can get some positioning on this, but Red Uber is popped in response, and Pepito is on vengeance on a mission, but she's not able to get anything. Meanwhile, Chip getting a two backstab on Dangerous and Anger. Those are two big classes out of this offensive push. Will AC be able to recover? They are certainly trying, but it's basically just the Medic and Pyro up at the uh, main lines. Meanwhile, uh, B trying to get something done behind the lines, not able to do so, and that sentry gun is already up again. It's a level one and it's on fire. Game is down, actually, so they need to make sure to spam that out. Or this blue team needs to make sure to spam that out, and they eventually do. Dangers all over that. He must have heard me. So these heavier classes back up for AC, and if they keep the pressure on, they could potentially take this, but right now, oh, Anger taking a ton of damage. He's going to have to fall back, um, and we'll see... Oh, Boomer goes down to a headshot. Oswell. Owzell. Ow, Owzell. Getting a 2k right there. Get on his cam. Where is his positioning? Um, but he is actually down along with Walker. Danger going to get this Uber again. He knows exactly where that sentry gun is. Uh, putting some sticks on it. I don't think it went down. And now he's being air blasted because Pepito is just really, really good at that M2 stuff. She goes down, though, eventually. Sentry gun still up. Hello, anybody? Anybody want to get that sentry? I, I mean, I guess uh, Dangers went for the right pick right there, which was to get <laughs> to get uh, some spam down because everybody was clustered on that ramp. Uh, Boomer did survive, though. I'm not sure how. I think he was up there. We're just going to keep on the Dangers cam. Um, he does take down Walker, so that's a nice pick. That sniper can be such a, a B-word on this point. Pepito goes down, so... Uh, why does nobody see danger right here? He needs to be called out. Finally, uh, Honorado comes in to clean him up, but uh, he's already done quite a bit of damage and uh, work right there. We'll see if Owzell, maybe I'll just call him Zell, uh, can do anything right there. We do have a quick fix going for Boomer, so that is an interesting strat. Uh, I'm not sure if they really need it, especially now since they're only three up for all class, and they have a time of 10 minutes and 22 seconds on the clock, which is quite a link. It's going to be... It's going to be a lengthy time, I think, especially this, um, considering what we've seen out of the defense for uh, Potato Game Sense, and considering they already have a level three up, and um, considering this quick fix strat, I think that may benefit this all-class team? We will see though, because it's going to take a bit for Capone to get his uber up. Uh, he's only about 50% right here, whereas Boomer already has that quick fix charge ready to go. We'll see if they decide to push forward with it, which wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, taking the demo man or something, try to get that med pick. Uh, I think Mad Slash wants to do that, so we're going to stick on his cam. He doesn't even have sleeves. That's how you know he means business. Uh, Bomb is close to the point. They're going to have to fall back. They are indeed because they <laughs> does nobody there. Nobody's there. Oh, my goodness. And guess who is there? That is B with a big backstab. And then the sap. The sentry gun goes down. He falls into the hole, but don't worry. He already did his bit. Quick fix pop goes off onto the cart, but fall a little too far away from the cart. Uber goes around too, and AC able to capture in 12 minutes and one second. It only took about two minutes right there on that last point, which is which is nice. So um, they had a bit of trouble with the first point, which I think they definitely could have made up some time there. But uh, overall, it was a really good defense from uh, this uh, Potato Game Sense team. We'll see how they do on offense. It looks like somebody did drop, but then rejoined. Or I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we'll just take a look at the scores. Okay, so we do have Darren Drunk is on Sniper now, and Walker is on Scout. So we'll uh, keep an eye on that. I thought Walker was doing pretty well. Him and Alzel, Alzel, were uh, doing some work.
And uh, Chip also up there in points uh, along with B. They're actually tied supposed by Spy doing some nice action. And uh, Duality is not... Oh, I mean, 19... I, I'm t thinking about Demo Man here. I do have the stats, so we'll take a look at the stats uh, after this round. But uh, let's take a look first at Center Gun Position. Interesting. So these Brazilians really like this spot. It does create a nice little nest right here um, for Zoo. We'll see uh, Zue? Maybe it's Zue. Uh, but we'll see if that works because it can uh, easily be taken down with just a couple of stickies in the right spot. Duality does go down, so no blue demo man for the time being. Being. Not time being. Time being. That's funny. Alright. We'll check on the oh, Zell cam. Maybe I'll just call him KWG. Oh, he gets uh, taken out by Darren Drunk right there, who also takes down Tazi. Uh, Red Uber is popped, just a ton of stickies coming in there, so duality after respawning, definitely doing work. Oh, you cannot shoot through carts, Angra. Oh, that scout was doing a good job ducking behind. I think he is stayed alive too, and he did just alive enough to just harass the medic opponent. Does go down, and they're so distracted. They didn't see Chip coming from behind to take out the combo. Only five six five up right now for blue and uh, they actually lost a player too so we'll see if potato game sense can hold on uh to this front point first point it's gonna be hard considering honorado uh wait potato ah sorry mix it up see if all class can hang on to this this first point uh honorado like i said was getting some very forward uh positioning that does not look comfortable. Central Grand is down, and uh, here's a part a bad thing about this uh, teleporter. If you're not communicative with your team about where it is, you could get uh, caught in a place you don't want to. But the fact that it was... Uh, yeah, okay, maybe not. That's fine. Because the door then opens after that spawn, and they were in position to escape. So maybe that's fine. Maybe I'm okay with that. I don't know. I don't know. We are going to have a showdown in upper windows right now, and it is going to be Mad who loses that showdown. Fuki getting some nice bombs in here. Oh, he's got to worry about those reflex because Pepito, we've definitely seen she can... Uh, oh, Pepito is now on blue medic. Interesting. Boomer is now pyro. So a little bit of... Um, switcheroo classes for this potato game sense team uh, we'll check in on the pepito cam as she now carrying the burden of this uber it looks like they're going to go from underneath red uber is ready in response for this i'm sure now we'll watch a med cam as this happens oh they met a pyro outside and uh, never good when that happened someone did go down though here comes the uber pop sentry gun is down. Capone has yet to pop his uber because it's just him and his dumb or heavy right there. They do finally pop and the blue uber has faded away. We'll see if they can catch out this uh, blue combo, but they have hurried and scurried away. So where is Pepito is the question. Oh, there's a spun up heavy. Oh no, Capone gets caught out. Chip was in position to stab him anyway. Um, so that will probably wouldn't have ended well anyway. Only four up right now for this defensive team. Ah, oh, Zell does get Pepito with a headshot right there. Uh, where is his position? He was able to do that. He was probably further back. Um, he did go down. So let's uh, take a look as this uh, Potato Gamers team is... Uh, potato Game Sense, I'm sorry. They're not Potato Gamers. Uh, doing very, very well on this push. Uh, some stickies on that level 1 central gun, but it is being wrangled. However, Engineer... Will he be able to get it up to level 2 uh, is the question. Definitely hurrying right there. Um, meanwhile, Sniper Advantage uh, in for the potato team just go with potato team because that's funny how uh darren drunk actually doing not too shabby right there so um replaced walker with a pretty snazzy sniper of their own let's see chip versus scout who's gonna win in this one? Uh, oh my goodness it's going to be close and finally chip gets tossy with a headshot oh boy 
Pony is staying alive right here. He's got about 80%, so that's not bad. Sentry Gun is at level 2, so that's not bad, but they have allowed this potato team to get a little too comfortable in this uh, room. Need to be sending some more sticks, need to have some... Um, Scout presence, potentially pirate presence. There's really nothing up here for the uh, defensive team except this t dispenser, which uh, isn't that going to do too much. And as a defensive team, you want to have that uh, height advantage as much as possible. We'll see the Ubers are ready. Sentry gun goes down, mad slash. I don't think he even needed. Well, the Ubers pop, so maybe he didn't need Uber for that. But where is the Uber is the question. They came in from behind. Aha, tricksy, tricksy. And now they have this upper advantage. Heavy did drop down right there. Oh, and left Papito alone. A red Uber is popped. Not in time to save the cart, but again, it doesn't it doesn't matter too much because that time is already sent. Capone going down to a headshot. So nice headshot from Darren Drunk. And that is going to be key, meaning um, because that means this uh, blue heavy, I mean, sorry, red heavy won't be able to stay under the cart and continue to contest it. Oh, but Fuki from behind with a 2k rocket. He does get finished off by Walker right there, but he already did his uh, duty, which was to get Pepito. I'm gonna check in. Uh, B getting duality right there. You saw the aftermath of that. I uh, just want to check in on the Darren Drunk cam. See the sniper battle in action. Uh, opposing Red Sniper has overheal, so Darren Drunk doesn't want to engage too much in that, which is a good idea. Let's check out Honorado and he's strategy going for some uh, picks um, but taking a little bit too much damage as he I guess was swatted out and there, there's a little one century now it's level two and it is uh, wrangle taking a little bit of damage as it's just being spammed by demo mine right there wouldn't be a bad idea to go uh, direct hit just for this point uh, for Blue Soldier, but uh, we'll see. As Capone going down to a headshot, I knew I should have stayed on Darren Drunk's cam because he got a big headshot right there. Capone, um, how did you, how is he shooting through the trees? Wow, nice shots right there. It will be able to finish off this heavy as Blue popped their Uber, um, cleaning up as much as possible, but they need to be aggressive. And it looks like they're doing exactly that. Oh, Darren Drunk is doing some damage to poor Angra, who's down to about 140 health. Uh, I just want to keep on his camera because I want to see one of these amazing headshots. And Angra got some health, got more health, and he will survive. So they're still going to try to contest this point, which they absolutely need to do. Uh, otherwise, they have to hold last for full five minutes, which is going to be difficult. Um, but they can't afford to lose some of their players, so it's a fine line that you have to... That you have to uh, tread as well. Ozel taking down Cam right there. Um, I think that was a bigger pick. Uh, what happened? Anyway. Uh, so blue team able to get into good positioning right here. They're not going to have an uber advantage. So we'll see if red uh, all class can use their uber advantage. It's going to be tricky because it's a, a, not a huge one. And I don't think they're going to. Oh man, Zoo going down right there. That's the engineer. So Darren Drunk just wrecking face. Um, getting some sweet headshots. The sentry gun goes down immediately. So there's no threat of a sentry. I think red has to uh, uber right here. But they just lost their heavy. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be uh, Pyro on the point who can't seem to find where Kame is and he's running the home wrecker that sucks of course home wrecker not as good as uh, well any other melee in that uh, situation meanwhile blue does get their uber up they just need to clear some space for this cart to roll there is a level one sentry just kidding it is down scout on the point just everybody from all classes on this point right now but you know what so is this red blue combo getting in there and the heavy medic combo will be able to take it out last uh, minute attempt from dangerous to stop it but no go and the first round will go to Potato Game Sense. But we are back with the second one. And we're back with the second half. Uh, just checked out the logs. Nothing too outstanding. Duality and uh, dangers were almost even in uh, damage per minute. Dangers had about two, uh, 20 more with the 300 uh, damage per minute. Uh, pretty close to the same amount of headshots, same amount of ubers, despite the fact that uh, Potato Game Sense changed their medics halfway through. And um, oh, let's see, Darren Drunk did have three med picks, and uh, Honorado had two. So uh, definitely watch out for that sniper-soldier combo. We're gonna watch the Fuki cam. 
And uh, what he does right here is uh, class does have the task of defending first. So we'll see if they can put together a defense that will stop this, uh, what we've been seeing, a very aggressive potato game sense uh, team, which uh, is definitely doable. Sentry gun is back in where it was before. I say mix it up, but uh, that's just me. Fuki already just sending some uh, damage, going for the air shot, not gonna be able to get it. Uh, I'm gonna get out of there, but don't worry, his demon is still there to defend the roof. Angra able to take down duality. Not sure where duality was, but uh, still Fuki is still defending, just sending some spam to the cart right now. Like it's it's hard for the soldiers because you want to defend the cart, but you absolutely need to stick to this roof. Otherwise, that sentry gun is toast. Uh, he is going to go ahead and defend the cart though, because nobody else is able to get there. Oh, can he get the NG? Gets the NG's ammo, which is basically just as good, but does take down Kane right there. Capone, meanwhile, holding in house. We'll see how long he can hold it. Remember last time, I think he was forced out by some stickies from Duality, or forced to pop. Uh, so keep an eye on that demo man who is actually uh, getting a little frisky right there. Gonna fall back and get some health. Um, as Blue Medic just now coming to spawn, that is Pepito, so she is still on Medic class. Has yet to pop that Uber, but only four up right now for this defensive team. That Sentry Gun is down on Arado, able to spam it out uh, with rockets. And we'll see if they pop this Uber to get in. They know a Red Combo is holding in there. Um, why not just, uh, I say send the soldier in from the top and uh, sandwich them off. Oh, we're sending the spy who gets the heavy and that is going to force the uber pop. We'll see now if blue needs to pop in retaliation. They're actually doing a great job reflecting, but watch out for the spy. Oh, some good comms right there. Uh, did catch out. B, Capone goes down and that uber is still intact for this potato game sense team. So nicely played right there. It would have been very easy for Pepito to panic and say, hold. Holy moly, there's a pyro coming after me. But uh, her pyro boomer was all on top of that, able to reflect it, and she did not panic, did not pop. So now they have this uber intact for a push on to second. And that's where they absolutely where they want to be. And there's only five up, four, four up for this defensive team. Uh, and no sentry gun, just need to clean up some kills. And uh, it will be an easy little roll. They need to get times three on the cart. There is a scout going. Uh, but. Still, the super is yet to be popped, so interesting uh, developments right here. Duality's gonna do a little bit of uh, spawn camp, or at least he's trying to, um, but someone got out of spawn, and uh, someone meaning the pyro, somebody. And now, oh, jumping soldier forces the Uber. That was Fuki. Not what, uh, not what Potato Game Sense wanted to do with that. But hey, whatever. Pop it, don't drop it. And indeed, they did. Now, Duality is going to try to push forward and get some more positioning. He saw that uh, NG and knows there's a gun around here somewhere. It does go ahead and take it out. And he's super, super hurt. Uh, Pepito does get his heels on them. But they are cornered a little bit in this uh, hallway. All able to take out Fuki, who uh, has been a source of discontent for them. Um, but the cart being pushed times three, and it's looking pretty good right now for this Potato Game Sense team. Yeah, AC, I'm not sure what they're doing there with their defense. Just sending a few lighter classes to try to stop things. Uh, and I don't know, I think... I mean, the it's quite... Yeah, someone trying to... Oh, see, I don't know. I don't know if I like... Hold, uh, they do have this Uber. Okay, so forced Uber pop um, from blue as well. They were able to take down dangers. And it's heavy versus heavy. One heavy down. That's blue heavy. So, wow. Okay. Ace. Or AC doing work right here. Um, they did lose their medic, Capone, but that uh, cart just barely capped. So they may be able to hold it. Of course, their spawns have changed. But uh, 3 minutes and 45 seconds for 3 points is really, really short time. So um, I wouldn't blame them if they did continue to try to contest this, which is what they did, which I, I did not think they would do. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> but regardless, uh, it looks like uh, AC has fallen back to fourth right now. Definitely what the engine needed to do to get a level 3 up, and you can see that Kane does have... He's level three up and it is wrangled and they are ready to dig their heels in and stop this offense, um, which has uh, slowed down a little bit. That second point was a little bit harder to, for them to get. So uh, we'll see if they uh, 
if AC can stop them. Because remember, Potato Game Sense is in the lead 1-0. And uh, all they have to do is win one more round and they will take it. Let's see what's happening. Oh, Kame is... No, I'm sorry. I think I said Kame was AC's engineer and he's not. Kame is definitely on... Uh, on uh, Potato Gamer, Game Sense. And Zoo is uh, AC's, AC's uh, engineer. There you go. Wow, I'm getting very distracted. So we do have Ubers ready to go. We'll watch as uh, Duality will probably get probably get this Uber because it, there's a level 3 sentry gun in Demomans are usually pretty... Demomans usually pretty good at that. Uh, he's charging up some sticks. Uh, of course, it is being wrangled. It will be out of ammo soon because uh, Zue has been just spamming that like crazy. Oh, man. Pepito drops her uh, head or sorry, duality right there. It is going to be heavy with that Uber, but Capone has been holding on to his. He's been very good at delaying Uber pops and waiting um, and biding his time and uh, able to get mad right there. Now they're going to push around the corner. Could do potential big amounts of damage, but that uh, pyro reflect from Boomer has just been very potent. Oh, need to watch the skies because, oh, Honorado. Oh, goes down. Capone just barely escaping death right there. He's going to go back to full health. And let's get some sniper action on camera. This is one of uh, the uh, fun sniping um, places. Um, but again, Darren Drunk goes against a sniper that has overheals. Um, but he eventually, oh, Zell does go down. It's actually some stickies that take him out. So let's, uh, let's get some more snipes here, Darren Drunk. Can't finish off the soldier who has 38 health. Fuki does get finished off eventually by Chip right there. And uh, Dor Tazi is going to take out Darren Drunk. Honorado coming in, cleaning up, or taking advantage of the fact that the sniper's down and taking Garage. And this is a nice hold from AC. It's definitely what they needed. Uh, they need to continue holding, though, obviously. Uh, Getting Honorado right there was a big pick. So Angra, um, very aware of that flanking class. What about Kane? What is Kane gonna do? Don't worry, Honorado is on that too. Maybe potentially. I'm not Honorado. Um, other soldier. I'm sorry, Fuki is on that, and uh, looks like they do check down Kane. You never know what an engineer is gonna do behind the lines, and that's why you always have to get them. Sure, they may not have stickies or headshot or backstab, but they can build teleporters and sentry guns. They can really mess up your defense. Uh, we do have Blue Uber popped Pepito. Uh, popping a little early right there. Look, maybe a little lack of communication because they don't know where that sentry gun is. It is much further back than last time. And meanwhile, Capone able to hold on to his Uber and pop it after Blue's is gone. Not able to get anybody with it, but just... Um, even exchange of Ubers is uh, is absolutely fine in this case for all class. They have that level 3 sentry gun still up, their medic is still up, uh, it's going all right. It is all right for all class. Or all good for all class, I don't know. Uh, so 3 minutes and 45 second time for 3 points is going to be a very larger for 4 points if that makes sense. We're looking at at least 7 minutes right now, I think. Owzel takes out Honorado. What's that? You want more sniping action? Okay. Let's find a sniper. Both snipers are down? Nope. Alright, Darren drunk. Oh, that rocket to the face. Uh, Blue TBI has now pretty convincingly taken over Garage. Um, and are going to decide to push, oh shit, from, sorry, <laughs> push from Garage with their Uber. Pepito needs to stay alive and is dodging rockets like crazy. Finally does pop, uh, needs to pop it on this demo man who needs the stickies just to go a little bit further. That wrangled sentry gun is so OP. Oh my goodness. And duality goes down because uh, Capone able to hold off that Uber. Oh, but he was not in a position to fall back enough. Oh, this could be bad for this defense. Sap goes down on the sentry and no Zue right there to um, get it. And this defense is crumbling here at fourth. It's just heavy right now. Oh, and Angrid does go down. Mad Slash gets Taken down by B right there. I wasn't even didn't even see him, and uh, we're seeing this uh, crazy aggression from AC right now. They do not want to give up this point, and uh, we'll see if it's a wise commitment to this uh, point. 
B getting in there, distracted for a little bit, and so Blue Team wasn't able to stay on the cart, because of course you have to stay on the cart on this stupid little ramp thing. They will be able to do so, and uh, yeah, that last minute try to defend, uh, attempt to defend, maybe bought them a few seconds, but I hope, or at least AC should hope it didn't uh, cost them uh, cost them being set up, and it lo looks like they are pretty well set up right there. Uh, Mad Slash needs to get in on the sentry gun, also needs to get that NG medic, potentially. Boomer goes down, he was wrangled to death. Oh, and Mad Slash does get Capone, so he's stuck with it. Uh, sentry gun still up, but medic down, and that's huge. Oh, and Mad Slash able to uh, take out the sentry. He uh, knew that there, maybe he knew, but that there's just a, so much wrangling going on right there that eventually the engineer would have to unwrangle it and repair it to get that ammo back. Meanwhile, he's just going to sit here. Little, little spawn camping, little uh, health camping. And uh, can he do it by himself? He's come into, come up against a level one and... I'm not sure if he was actually shooting it there. It looked like the sentry gun was taking damage, but not sure. Chip meanwhile with the 2k, Danger, Z, and Fuki down. Uh, so big classes out of this defense picture, but that is already a level 2 up. And that's why he gets back to his medic because he is on fire. And nobody from Red can seem to get him. He's gonna, there we go. Gonna hook up with his his precious med friend. Capone, meanwhile, needs to watch out for Honorado, who does get wrangled down right there, but Capone will have this uber advantage if they decide to push off for it, and this is a significant uber advantage, so they might... they might want to try. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mad Slash did not realize there are stickies literally under his feet, and uh, Dangers took a uh, full advantage of that. We'll see if they decide to pop this uber now. Dangers doesn't get it, but it will be Angra who does. Um, who's just spinning around, trying to get anybody. Does get the scout on the cart. Medic is a little further away, so maybe if they took a soldier in with that uber, they could have um, jumped the med, but Capone does go down. I think, uh, oh, nice shot right there from Avazel, but he pays the price with his life. So I'm not sure about that pop. Um, I think they need a little bit more support if they really wanted to commit to that, um, which uh, the support they just didn't get because the uh, medic fell back and they didn't have any of those uh, fast classes to finish that pick off. But uh, Capone is back alive right here. Mad Slash again going for that <laughs> century gun. Uh, they do have Uber, but he is, okay, there he is with his medic and Uber is popped. Not sure about that pop. A uh, little bit early, and oh, they meet a pyro in resistance, and Mad Slash not able to get anything right there. Meanwhile, Capone stays alive, and we'll have this uber soon. Angra decided to contest that. Not sure why. Maybe he thought he had overheals or the med on him, but Capone had to fall back because Capone was down like 30 health. Um, so he's going to hold on to this uber. I would not suggest another aggressive pop. I think they were lucky that Blue's uber right then was a little early because... Uh, they uh, should not, because uh, I, 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 they should have, I mean, they, meaning Potato Game Sense, should have had that, the cart capped in that push. Um, I think they're a little too dependent on their heavy man slash. I think they need to take in duality more for some of these uh, last pushes. But uh, sometimes you just get so comfortable with that heavy, you, you do what you do. Anyway, we do have Capone on this quick fix, didn't notice that, so obviously a desperation play right there, that's where you usually see the quick fix, or it could be this Brazilian strategy that is so brilliant, I, I don't understand it, which is possible, um, that uh, on last in Swiftwater, you uh, go ahead and uh, use that quick fix. Capone did pop it, so stay alive, so I guess it's going to keep him alive. Um, why not? Anyway. Well, we'll see how it goes. They're still holding, and this going to be over 10 minute time for Potato Game Sense. Let's, uh, we haven't seen too much spy yet. Oh, just as I say it. But we do have some spy v spy. Uh, oh man, B stabs Honorado to death, and Chip gets caught out right there. So uh, there's your spy action. We're now going to have some heavy v heavy action. Slash is just going to fall back. He doesn't have any overheals or any support, really. Meanwhile, Capone has his... Um, quick fix charge ready to go again 
If Pepito can get this Uber up, she's going to have such an advantage because Quick Fix versus Uber is nothing. <laughs> it's always in the favor of Uber. Oh, why was there heavy in the sandwich right in front of her? No. Uh, Pepito does take some damage, will fall back. Um, but it looks like she's going to have this Uber soon. She's got 80%. And uh, I'm just going to stick on her cam. She's trying to get these overheels, trying to get to the demo to come with her, and uh, I think that's going to be the key right here. They also can't pop too fast. So oh, that sucks. Danger Z getting those stickies in the window with some nice action. Takes out Papito. Oh, wow. That was brilliant. Uh, meanwhile, someone just went a little bit crazy. Got a reflect rocket that has. I think a K and then took down a mini sentry. I love that. We're gonna stick on someone's cam now then. See if we can't capture lightning in a bottle twice or whatever. I wanna see it again, is what I'm trying to say here. So someone give me some more reflect action. I love I love reflex. And yes, you can go through those windows. So someone's sticking right on the cart. Oh, but uh, I think duality knew that. And just was able to put some sticks down Capone. And meanwhile, still has a quick fix available. It's going to pop it as he was being jumped by Honorado staying alive. And uh, who knows? If he didn't have that quick fix, would he have still been alive? I don't know. These are the questions that uh, will someday be answered, I assume. But uh, Pepito with 95% what is the question? Did she go quick fix as well? Uh, no, she's on that regular Uber. So oh no, are you kidding? The same thing! The same thing! Dangers with some stickies. I think, and that was a sticky trap! Uh, just able to take out, and that was a drop. Wow, wow, wow. Only came alive, and that is complete white for Blue Team. Just now getting some response, but not gonna be in time. And AC able to successfully defend. So, wow. Big, big plays out of Dangers. Um... Crazy, yeah, definitely picking up his game. We'll definitely give you some stats on his uh, damage per, per minute on that round, which, you know what, I'll just go look it up right now. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, well, the round isn't over, so I don't want to spoil it. But, uh, yeah, both Demelmen uh, did significantly more damage this round than last round. So, that gives you something to look forward to. What? Capone on the quick fix on offense? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes a little more sense. I was I was excited though. I thought maybe they would do a, a demo man medic jump. Interesting, Alorado is on the direct hit on defense. You know, direct hit usually best for taking out sentry guns, but maybe he just really likes his air shots because, you know, who doesn't like an air shot? But anyway, I was thinking with the quick fix, um, Dumbo put some stickies down there, jump with the medic, and then maybe go behind the lines and do something crazy. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we will see this played a little bit more standard. We'll watch Kane as he's, uh... Yeah, these, these engineers like their little uh, cozy spots. I... I'm not completely sure about it, but I mean, it's been working. These times on first have been long. And I think it's the support that they're really getting that um, it makes this... Uh, viable because you're gonna have to have um, yeah you're gonna have to have your pyre with you you're also gonna have to be really good at that Wrangler um, and I know people are like eh, Wrangler blah, 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 doesn't take any skill or whatever but uh, no you have to be able to know when to switch off Wrangler Wrangler and when uh, you can go back to oh man <laughs> go back to uh, your wrench or your rescue ranger oh Walker does get a shot right there on his opposing sniper, but uh, his opposing sniper had overheal, so there you go. Uh, Pepito probably calling out that spy who uh, you could see through the rafters, and that's scary. It's like he's stalking, and B is indeed stalking the entire red team right now. Oh, man, barely missed. Oh, pokes a scout. Uh, not able to take anybody right there, but everybody on the red knows he's there. Meanwhile, Blue did pop their Uber. I'm sorry I didn't catch it, but uh, this spy is really entertaining. Um, the cart is almost to the capture point, but there's nobody on Blue alive except B. So he's a. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not sure about that uncloak spot, but he is gonna get the sap down and it will be in time. If that was coordinated with maybe some spam on the sentry, that would have been nice, but uh, sentry gun is still up, though the cart was capped. I am confused. So yeah, car was capped, sentry gun still up, and combo still holding there. So really, really interesting. I thought I saw Zoe running through the tunnel, and again, Inji's behind the lines are always scary because you never know what they're gonna do. But Honorado was able to take him out. So now Honorado on the black box. So maybe he's just having some fun with the different uh, with different guns, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, came did uh, fall back, so his level three went down at first. But Pepito, oh, is Pepito's in a different house? Never mind. <laughs> I thought Pepito was in a in the house by herself at first. We get back on the B cam because we still haven't seen an, uh, enough spy plays here. Although there definitely have been a lot, especially Chip. We'll get on Chip's cam in a second. Oh my goodness. Yeah, B was caught out there. He's not quite sure where to go. Uh, we do have Uber uh, a little well, Capone with about ninety percent. What is Fuki doing here behind? These crazy AC players are uh, crazy, I think. Best describes what they're doing here. The Uber is popped, and now Fuki's just going to send some spam that uh, they're not going to have any idea where it's coming from. So Sentry Gun destroyed Pepito as 95% uh, Uber, but she's taking a lot of spam, and in comes uh, Fuki with that drop he got boomer did he get i don't know who got uh who got pepito right there with a uh, very close to uber but uh somebody did so she's down and oh man fuki not able to finish off honorado but uh he does get finished off eventually so interesting decisions from ac teams to get in behind to get the flanks um but they're well executed uber right there made all the the craziness make sense if that makes sense not sure if it did. Uh, Capone did go down. So there goes that uber advantage, but um, we'll see. It is going to, it's not going to be easy. Well, now that uh, Red is losing a ton of players, Chip getting the backstab on the NG, but doesn't matter. Point is capped. Boomer taking out Tozi right there. Boomer wants to defend this, but he's going to fall back. Uh, well, I was going to say, it's not gonna be easy, but then there's only a few players up on defense, but then they got the respawns And now there's only a few players up on offense, but now they're getting the response. So we'll see <laughs> Respawns respawns everywhere um, And remember with the capture of that uh, third point spawns do change so definitely an advantage for this here blue team so Walker is back on sniper because uh, I'm guessing they just uh, like to keep it fresh uh, you can see through the camera chip right there trying to do something, but he got caught out and he is indeed down There's just so many people for Walker to shoot. I, I think he's just not sure where to go He's gonna take out that mini uh, which is always very important, but you know where one mini dies another mini uh, Is born Although that one does go down there <laughs> So this defense has to hold out for about 4 minutes and 30 seconds on these last two points. Definitely possible, but definitely possible for Blue to come back. Uh, and that's exactly what AC wants to be doing right here because they have to win this. Uh, have to capture the last point. And, uh... Oh, wait, duh! The, uh, the Potato Game Sense didn't capture the last point. So they have 4 minutes to capture this next point. Or uh, as much time as they need to capture last. Or as much time as map as much time as the map time allows. But the card is getting very close right there, so Red needs to just pile onto the card. I hope they uh, understand the rules, because sometimes they can be confusing. But yeah, if this card is capped right now, that's going to be the round. And indeed, AC able to pull it off. So we are tied up 1-1 in the first Brazilian National Championship. Be back with the third and final round after this. All right, so we're back with this deciding round, and let's uh, hear about stats real quick. Isn't it amazing when people give me stats? I love it. Sizzling stats, logs, .tf, whatever. Anyway, so damage per minute uh, for Danger Z was 
426 compared to Duality's 311. So Dangers went uh, pretty crazy that round, over a thousand damage. Um, so doing some really nice work and had three med picks, which uh, I think we saw a lot of. Honorado, meanwhile, for Potato Gamers, had three med picks as well. So he's continuing to be crazy. Um, in terms of headshots, Darren Drunk had 14 and then Walker had four. So I'm not sure why they switched off right there, but whatever. Anyway, we're getting close. Are we getting close? We are getting close. So uh, AC will attack first and Potato Game Sense will defend first. Try to hold them off, see if they can uh, repeat the first round where uh, Potato Gamers Game Sense did very, very well on their defense. Uh, we're gonna check out some B cam. B period cam. Oh, the big decisions, go for the med pick and the combo pick or go for the sentry. Looks like he's gonna go for the combo if he can get up the stairs, there you go. Oh, there's no pyro, this could be fun. Also, came went down, so, oh, there he goes, gets duality. Um, we'll see if he can get the med. Uh, surely they are aware of his presence, and it looks like they are pretty paranoid. That always works to the favor of the uh, person who's on the loose. And that is going to signal dangers to come in here, and that uber is popped for red team. Capone pops his uber as well. Um, not exactly sure what's going on. There we are. So Uber's in the house and they're trying to track down the opposing combo. It's going to be difficult, um, but Slash does go down. Uh, Boomer went down before that. Boomer's on Medic, remember now. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so they just like p Boomer on Med when they're defending. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, Pepito then is better at offensive pyro or defensive pyro, but she was, I guess, she had some really good air blasting before. That's interesting. But Boomer was really good with his air blasting too, but not. I don't know. I don't understand. But uh, they obviously know their team better than I do. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Look at this these rainbow stickies shooting in the air not able to get that century, but that does not mean Dangers is going to stop trying. <laughs> It was a good idea, and he uh, could get Angie pick in that nonsense, but uh, not able yet. Just keep getting his overheals, uh, and actually, Capone has that 100% uber, so we should probably pop that. And indeed, the uber is popped. The sentry gun is being wrangled. Some nice reflex. I mean, those, those stickies aren't doing too much, but finally it goes down. The combination of stickies and heavy spam. But meanwhile, backstabbed, hook it down, dangers, and uh, Capone didn't have anybody to protect him right there. So, not a whole lot of people alive. Mad Slash with not a lot of help. Needs to take down the soldier. But uh, Fuki does that himself. <laughs> and looks like uh, AC might be able to get this. Oh man, what a nice pick by, by Chips. To t or Chip, singular. Take down Danger. Uh, dangers. And uh, stop the push for a little bit because Dangers. Uh, could have uh, gotten in there and just put down a ton of spam and damage and whatnot. But we do have a pause, we'll be right back. Alright, we are back. In a minute 13 for that first point for AC right here, just trying to regroup after that um, failed uber push, which wasn't looking too bad until Dangers went down to that back step, so Chip played a huge role right there, and then of course um, losing Angra was big too. We'll keep an eye on Tazi because we haven't seen too much Tazi work, but uh, just pushing that cart, it's not glamorous. You're not going to win any, you're not going to make too many frag videos of it, but pushing that cart is so, so, so essential. Oh, except when you step on some stick eyes. Duality, this nice sticky trap right there, and the cart is so very, very close. Yeah, that's pretty darn close. Um, looks like Dangerous was going to try to get in there, but he gets taken out by a walker who is on scout again. I, I'm not even gonna try to make sense of it. We did have Zue or Zu coming in there and finishing off that cap barely. Capone is gonna have this 100% Uber now moving into a second, or I'm sorry, third point. Um, a nice defense from someone stops Honorado from getting another med pick, uh, but watch out for that threat that would be Chip, who does go down and uh, spawn area cleared. Bomb 
nearing a checkpoint, so, uh, all class looking pretty- well, I was gonna say pretty good, but then they stop pushing the cart. Here comes the Uber, let's see if they can do it. Boomer goes down immediately, so no med. Heavy needs to be taken out right here. He's on the roof just hanging out. Capone needs to get away alive, not able to do so because Honorado came in and finished him off from down under. And wow, that was pretty crazy. He's still alive, look at Mad, he's... Mad Slash, still alive and still going. He's a crazy aggressive Heavy. Finally, he takes a headshot, um, but uh, you know, he would have kept shooting even if he didn't need his head. Or if he didn't have his head. I don't know, something like that. He, he was crazy aggressive. I love crazy aggressive heavies like that. They're just like, nope, I'm doing this. Uh, Angra is pretty aggressive too, but I feel like in a smart... Okay, just kidding. Just gonna do this by himself as well. Needs to protect his medic and does... Actually, it's someone who protects, again, Honorado with another bomb in. It is someone that met it, that uh, Pyro doing the work right there. We're going to keep on the anger cam as he's trying to lead his team, but takes some body shots right there. He's down very much, and um, Capone didn't see how he went down, but Capone is dead. So going to make uh, it harder for Angra to, to be aggressive. There's a level two going on, uh, being uh, built up. And so this could be a uh, potential for a defensive stand here from Potato Game Sense, and they absolutely need it. Uh, they have full numbers, they have uber advantage, so they really need to hold right here. Uh, because 4 minutes and 23 seconds for those first 3 points is a very fast time. So they are, you can see, trying to get uh, more of yard right here, more of this open area. Oh, <laughs> Chip trying to do his best to get some backstab, but uh, it's kind of everywhere. Uh, meanwhile, Angry did go down, so it's just dangerous right now. He's just spamming that sentry gun, but it's gotta watch out for the med and, uh... Chip almost getting the med pick right there, but he gets taken out by Capone with that Crusader's crossbow. So well done. When you don't have anyone to protect you, you gotta protect yourself. And, uh, I love the Crusader's crossbow for that. Capone needs to pop. Oh my god, eight health left, but gets that pop off. Brilliant. Brilliantly done. Um, and he even has somebody to pop it on. It was on his heavy, but, uh, some nice air blast and reflex from Pepito will, uh, pretty much shut down that Uber. Uh, Capone has to run back because he only had 30 health left right there. So, so far, it's a, it's a pretty scrappy defense right here out of, uh, Potato Game Sense, but it's working. Uh, they're gonna get another chance to reset after those Ubers, and that level 3 sentry gun is still- oh man. Darren drunk, back on a sniper. I don't think he's drunk, he seems pretty stable to me. He's a pretty steady hand. Unable to uh, take Fuki down to 50 health right there as he opened the door. And that's probably the worst thing to happen, you open a door, get taken down to 50 health. Like, answering the door when someone knocks and they just punch you in the stomach. I feel like that's that's a bad way to go. Fuki is going to try to get in here behind the lines. I uh, want to get on his cam, but he goes down as Darren Drunk takes him out. Of course, I should have stayed on Darren Drunk's cam. Anurad is going to try to do the same thing and does take down Awazel on the cart. Uh, going to have some trouble with Pepito as uh, she's doing those reflex. I'm sorry, that's someone, someone, I'm sorry. So it does have trouble with someone. And uh, red team officially have lost that second to last point. And look how aggressive Angra is being right here. That's that's what you love. Takes down Pepito. Oh, gets his overheals. So will he be able to continue on that uh, crazy, crazy, these crazy, crazy um, heavies? I'm trying to get on the heavy camp. There we go. Angra just spun up and fun happy right now trying to get another uh, med pick across the way definitely doing some damage and uh oh how many uber saws can uh boomer get not enough is the question and eight minutes and nine seconds that's the fastest time we've seen yet today so ac bringing everything in that round and it's up to potato game sense uh to beat it now I'm wondering how much game sense a potato can have. I'm, I'm thinking not a lot. And uh, self-deprecating names always make me sad. Cause like, oh, surely you have some game sense better than a potato, which they absolutely do. <laughs> absolutely do. So I, I, I'm suggesting name change. Maybe like eggplant game sense, because I, I feel like eggplants would have superior game sense to potatoes. Anyway, that was a bad joke. We don't have too much time left. 
or too much time for potato game sense to push so they have to be super aggressive um i say focus sniper coming out of here and then push with their combo as soon as possible um yeah we'll see Let's see, we'll get on the Owzel Cam, who has been a consistent sniper. I can't imagine that it's that easy going from sniper to scout to sniper to scout in Highlander. In Sixes, it's common to off-class like that in special circumstances. But uh, in Highlander, it, I feel like it's much more difficult. But we'll see. Owzel was in such a sneaky spot that it's very hard to get him, but finally Walker does get him. Will that signal a time to push out for Boomer and Squad? They did lose duality, so no demo man for at least five more seconds. Um, as they are just kind of playing at safe dangers, getting some pit, uh, stickies right there on the cart, I believe, uh, to able to take down Pepito and uh, well, I'm not sure who else was there, so 2k, but um, Boomer still just kind of dancing around and spawn. He's got to watch out, and they are going to come out now as Oh, but I don't know about this because uh, Red Sniper is back up, but they're doing a good job dancing around. Dancing is the only metaphor I can think of, but watch out for behind because here comes Fuki, not able to get the kill, um, but does force that pop. Meanwhile, Capone dropped Uber? I didn't see, I didn't see it, I'm sorry, but uh, this is where Blue needs to be aggressive right here. They have this first point pretty decisively, except where River Howzel is, he was able to get Darren drunk like that. They need to push through tunnel, right now they're being too passive, they need to push through tunnel and kind of shut this off. Where is Owzel? And then B getting duality right there, Owzel just took down Boomer with a headshot. Oh man, that's huge. Owzel, so he was back at the second point, he just had some really good positioning, I guess. Uh, get on his cam as he is going to uh, try to lock down tunnel. But remember, there's only about 6 minutes and 30 seconds. What? I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> there's only 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, or now 6 minutes and 15 seconds for, um, for Potato Game Sense to push the cart all the way. Came just trying to get time on the cart, and that's generally a good idea. It's also generally a good idea not to do it in the sight line of a sniper, uh, but only one thing at a time. I was all just so very good at getting positioning. And he's gonna try to slowly creep up on the cart. So all class um, doing all they can. <coughs> I'm sorry, that was bad. Uh, that was bad. Uh, to to stop this aggression and uh, we do have a little little uh, camp set up here and tunnel out of uh, potato gamers. Potato game sense, sorry. Owzel getting Darren drunk right there and um, figured out that was a spy going down to take Pepito and then uh, taking out oh wait he got Pepito behind Chip and then got Chip and now he's on a 9k streak oh can he I'm just gonna stick on his camp until uh, until oh until his judgment day because right now he's doing an excellent job of um, killing people in a row <laughs> And look, he's not even, uh, like, in top three or whatever, so the rest of his team is just picking it up. Uh, Tazi is doing really nice with points. Um, we have both Ubers ready to go. But it's, uh, definitely on the shoulders of Blue to push, pop first, and they do! But, uh, they're just getting mowed down right here! A bad pop, and, uh, from Ka uh, Capone, his, uh, good delayed pop, means that he's gonna keep everybody alive. We're only four up right now for Blue. They are gonna get those respawns, but uh, they're losing time, so we're down to five minutes and, and 30, well, 25 seconds. And look at Boomer! He's just caught unawares because these crazy, crazy heavies. There's Angra who's coming in, so Boomer is taking a lot of damage. Um, looks like Tazi was trying to clean up that kill, but not able to do so. Meanwhile, the point was capped, so uh, that's good news. Changes spawns for the defensive team, but uh, Angra is still alive and in this house with his men, so that could be potentially dangerous, especially when you see the crazy... Uh, oh, aggression out of the heavies! Oh, but a really nice pick right there by Honorado. Angra not able to defend, does get uh, defend his medic, he does get the pick. Uh, now he's going to try to get this heavy, and heavy versus heavy, he wins! And getting the spy, Angra on a bit of a roll right now. And then he's going to have a sandwich. You deserve it. Just by the dead spy body. Oh yeah. That's, that's, that's good stuff. 
This is where you want to find where the, the medic is and uh, surprise attack. Uh, looks like he's got a little uh, friendship or a little help in, in the form of a friend, uh, Fuki. And uh, yeah, blue team doesn't seem to be aware of their presence. They are pushing the cart, and of course, cart is what you need to worry about here. So the heavy demo soldier behind the point is all well and good, but you gotta protect the cart. Anger, can he get the med pick? He does. Oh my goodness, Anger taking down Boomer, and half the team was with Boomer right there, but nobody, nobody expects the roaming heavy, and that's why it's amazing. Oh my goodness, uh, less than three seconds left. Three seconds, three minutes left. Um, third point, probably gonna be captured right here. Um, well, Darren Drunk was on the cart and getting good. Okay, there's a beautiful level three sentry gun, so it's gonna be very, very difficult for a single scout or a single engineer to push it uh, to that point, which of course is super important because it changes spawns. It should be called. Instead of swift water, it should be called spawn water or something, because it's all about the spawns. Spawn timing and where the spawns are, it's uh, one of those things you have to practice and have to get to know, but I think these Highlander teams are pretty pretty well versed in it. Someone is... What do you... Did you forget what color you are, someone? some I do that a lot. Usually it's in pubs, but uh, someone is trying to be aggressive right there. I don't know what... Uh, maybe he's chasing somebody that got away. Uh, just go ahead and finish off Chip. Well, finishes off one life of Chip. And then uh, Tazi gets the other mini lives of Chip. So a minute and 50 seconds left. AC is holding on strong on this point. That uh, med pick from the roaming heavy, a big, a big pick. And uh, Fuki with a big pick right there, taking down Boomer, just spamming like crazy. And in those close quarters, it's going to do so much damage. Red decides to use their Uber right there, and we'll see how it goes. They're going to wrap around and rotate, but uh, only four up. They really need to be careful about this cart and uh, keeping Gapone alive. Which it looks like, oh, he does not. Oh, the anguish. That is pure anguish right there. But uh, right now the pressure is on for um, Potato Game Sense as there's less than a minute and 10 seconds left to get all the way to the end. I don't know if it's even physically possible at this point. They have uh, done a valiant, they gave it a valiant effort, but it may be all she wrote for this team. And uh, I think we are very close to declaring a winner for the first ever Brazilian National Championship. But uh, stranger things have happened, so I won't call a winner yet. We'll see, though. Boomer is up to 50% Uber, and one more ridiculous uh, push could do it. But uh, that was a ridiculous snipe right there from Hauzel, uh, taking down a mad slash. And we're just going to stick on his cam. Boomer, meanwhile, being taken out by uh, someone. And by someone, I mean the pyro. And Hauzel taking out ship right there. Or, well, he dead rang out of that. But it doesn't matter. And this is 20 seconds left. How oh, can we get the in the air? Mid-air spy headshot. Not tonight, but uh, maybe again someday. Only four for this defensive team, but one of them is Angra the Roaming Heavy. And with 10 seconds left, Red is going to be aggressive. AC is going to push up here and just make sure everybody knows that they are the first ever national champions in Brazil. So congratulations, guys. AC, all class, showing nothing but class or something like that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much to uh, Capone, who sent this in and was very patient <laughs> in uh, me casting it. So uh, thanks so much, guys. If you have a game you want to see casted, send it to TurboCop, because I am so, 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 so behind. He is TurboCopTF2 at gmail.com. Anyway, guys, if you want a server, you should check out ChazikServers.com, and that is about it for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good day.